Next gadget judge, one of my BFFs, Helena Stone, journalist, editor-in-chief of Geekspin, featured on MSNBC, Wired, ABC, hanging out with me in the desert. Hello. So great to see you again. All right, and you are testing what I think might be the most buzzed about gadget of last gadget standing. So at CES this week, we've seen wearables of all shapes and sizes, some of which have been unfairly banned from the show floor. <laughs> uh, but this one really, really stood out for us. I, I've never seen anything like it. It is a religious wearable. Uh, and it's, in de it's designed to help you with prayer, but it also does some typical wearable features like activity tracking. But I'm going to let Michael Lee take over. He's with Rosary Beads. So uh, welcome, and you know, we're really, really glad to show you guys this. this is the world's first series of religious smart wearables. So as you can see, this is a rosary bead, and we're inspired to uh, develop this rosary to help believers to follow their daily praying routines and build up personalized programs, in addition to the uh, daily tracking system with their, uh, in terms of the sport trackers, you know, health trackers, you know, in terms of steps, how many, um, and um, it's lightweight, it's easy to wear, and it's dustproof and waterproof for daily usages. So technology should be used to facilitate people's life in every aspect, help people embrace their beliefs and dream more closely. And, you know, in the Old Testament, you know, it began with the story of Genesis. God created the world, animal, plants, and human beings. You know, but 2,000 years later, we're all here. We're, in, we're dominated by technology. So if we're not going back to that time, how are we, we would like to develop a product with a focus to deliver kindness to the people. And this is why we have the rosary beads. So actually, this product is conceptualized from our previously successful launch of Leap Beads in the Asian market. So in the Asian market, we have launched a similar product called Leap Beads for the uh, Buddhism religion. So here it is, over here. And um, this, it, it's built with the wood material. It brings a very pleasant aromatic scent. And it also goes well with the daily outfit. So we also provide customizations uh, for institutions such as temples, funeral services, and fashion companies. It actually works. So um, here, it also has a digitalized chanting scripture, so when I press on this, it will not only be a charging station, but also be a Bluetooth speaker. And we've been working with a, uh, a partner called KKBox. It's a Taiwanese uh, online music streaming company similar to Spotify here in the uh, European and American markets. And it's able to play your favorite, mu uh, favorite meditation music while you're um, doing your meditations. So here's an app overview of what we have to do. So here, this is the rosary beads. And when I do the gesture, it will launch that praying program. And you'll start to go over your daily practices and your daily program. And when you are doing your, um, when you're rolling the beads, it can actually count how many times you've read it, um, and it will follow up the program like that. <clears throat> and this is launched automatically when I initiated the gesture, so you don't have to use another hand to open up the program. So, um, to wrap this up, so we're also looking to building a social media for believers. So intercession, for those of you guys who know, it means to pray for others. And in the Catholic terms, it's not only for your close circles, but also for your enemies. Right? So what we can do here, this app does two things. It pray, can allow you to pray together. Or Oh, all right. It allows you to pray together or um, pray for others. So you can simply choose a topic such as love, family, sorrows, and you know, we can then send an invite to your friends and then complete the prayer task in groups. And there's another one is that, and it's also allow you to, um, a lot easier to pray for others. So just follow the uh, prayer lessons and select the apps and contact your wish to transfer the goodwill to your friends in the social networks. 
So, um, so yeah, it is kind of a social media for believers, and we're not looking to doing any dating services yet. But <laughs> yes, to, yeah. So um, this is what we're looking for, and yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Okay, Michael. Michael and I sat, and because, okay, so in all the years I've been coming to CES, I've seen smart toilets, smart underwear, smart, well, pretty much everything. So these are the first smart rosary beads I have ever seen. So I always get pretty curious when I see something I've, I've never seen before, and I was ready to dive in and do nothing but make fun of this, even if it meant I was going straight to hell. But after Michael walked me through it, that idea of, of connection, you know, we're seeing these robots that aim to connect people, bring a little more humanity to our technology. So it started to make a little more sense. And then I wondered, why hasn't anyone ever done this before? Well, I think and we didn't go yeah. back to the mic here for that. There you go. Thank All you. All right. I keep on forgetting about the mic. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so um, I think the answer is, you know, it's kind of obvious, I think, in a way that because it's quite sensitive in terms of the subject matters. Um, but what we want to um, let you guys know is that we're not just making for a particular religion. As you guys can see, we started off the lead beads for Buddhism. And then we continue on conceptualizing from that to create the rosary beads for Catholics. So we're very open for all the different religions, and we're looking to develop more and more products in that direction. Uh, according to Pew Research, uh, religions down about 80% across the board in the United States. Is this a United States product? And do you think religion is, is going to be a successful place to focus for technology? Well, I think um, in terms of the market, we're not just going to be in the United States. It's going to be launched worldwide. But definitely, we're starting with the US, and we're going to the European countries. And I think in terms of the decreases in the, um, in the percentage of people believing in religions, I think we all believe in something, right? It cannot, it probably not a particular religion, but once we get, um, but I think uh, if this will continue to be a um, product that's gonna be needed yeah. by a lot of people. Yeah. Well, one of the things I like about it, it does do your, your tracking, it helps you kind of connect with other people, but it's kind of pretty. So it's just a different form factor from this that you know we'd like to see a little bit more of, some of the, the prettier form factors. Yep. So thank you so much. Did thank you mention you. the price, by the way? Um, this, we're, we're looking at the prices at about one for a night. So uh, okay. this is going to be about in line with a lot of other wearables, yep. smart wearables. All right. You've seen it all. I've seen it all. Smart, connected rosary beads. I can, that's it. I don't have to ever come back to the show because I've seen it all.